Church, praise the Lord. My name is Nemezi uh, Okeke, and I'm here with my family. Um, we, we are married for, <clears throat> we waited for 11 years. And in the course of that 11 years, I usually see the senior pastor in my dreams, though we are not members of uh, Dunamis then. And I've never been to any program of Dunamis. So, but any time I have this word of childlessness, like depression, he will come to me in the night, in the dream. He will counsel sometimes. He will pray for me sometimes. In one of the occasions, he gave me a Bible. So that continued for like six, seven years. So one day I told the younger brother that I used to see your pastor in my dreams. So he gave me his phone number to send him a message. But that most people have this phone number, but some he replies, some he doesn't reply. So I shouldn't get disappointed if he didn't reply. So I had that phone number for like two years. And one day I had this dream. Are you following what is going on? You have been having an encounter for six years, seven years. It didn't move you. Phone number for two more years. <laughs> Answer. The reason is because what is so one morning I had this dream that was so real. When I woke up, I took my phone and sent the message to him. So but before then, before then, the reason why you were you, you were so reluctant in getting across to him, he said that. He doesn't like the commission. He doesn't like the senior pastor operation. He wouldn't come. Maybe you say by yourself. So, when I sent the message, in that message I told the senior pastor that I do see him in my dreams and I don't know why. Though, I don't like his ministry. <laughs> so, but seeing him almost all the time, counseling me, praying for me, that God may be saying something different. I asked for prayers or better if I can see him. So he replied and said, and where are you? And what have we done, sir? <laughs> what have we done that you don't like us, sir? <laughs> so I replied back that you didn't do anything. It's just that maybe I am not attracted to your ministry. <laughs> so after that, for after two days, someone called me and said that he is the PA to the senior pastor of Dunamis. That I, if I want to see this, I said, yes, I want to see him. He invited me, so we came here, my wife. So when we were ushered into his office, he now, the first thing he said that you sent me this message. I said, yes, sir. He said, okay. So before I could say what brought us to his office, my wife told him that we have met three, two, three very senior pastors concerning this childlessness and he will be the last person we will meet over this issue so he gave us he asked the peer to give us to give us 10 of his preaching cds that we should go listen to it pray with it and he will give us appointment to come back so i asked the peer how much is the cds the senior pastor said it's free absolutely free i looked at my wife i said this is different Are you just looking like that? Tell somebody this is different. So after that, 10 days, we came back. Oh, one week we came back. And the senior pastor brought us here, anointed us. That was in August 2020. Anointed us and said it's done. We left. My wife tested positive September the following month. And during the nine months of the pregnancy, it was an easy ride. There was no problem. And she gave back to these twins, a boy and a girl. Hallelujah. Now, are you following what is going on? Somebody sent you a text. He said, I have been seeing you in my dream, but I don't really like you. I don't like your ministry. And I don't know why I'm seeing you. And you say, okay, come, let us see. <laughs> Hello. And then they are see, right? say, so what did we do against you, sir? 
You say, ah, really nothing. It's just that I don't like your ministry. And you are still talking to him. <laughs> are you following us? And you say, okay, let us go ahead and place you on prayer. We trust that God will. That is, if you, you have to receive a prophet in the name of a prophet before you receive the prophet's reward. But this one has not received the prophet. <laughs> Very difficult matter. But God is so merciful. And I see, and that is, if God is to follow human beings, he wouldn't do things for many people. The place of your deliverance, you hate the person. And you, that is nothing but the devil. There are people now who are hating people that will be, should be helping them. In certain family settings, in certain job or employment settings, neighborhood and so on. The real person that God put your help in his hand, Satan put his hatred in your heart. What did we do? Nothing. Because we had, we had asked the question, but we still continue. And the way he's talking now, he, he, no smile, no. That is, as Why, why is God forcing me to come? You saw somebody seven years. He comes, he's counseling in the dream. He's teaching you. He's praying with you over the issue. For where? I don't like the person. Plus two years of holding the number. And then if he's to send the test, that was what he said. I don't know why I'm seeing you, but I don't like you. <laughs> what a merciful God. Everyone here today with any satanic embargo on your life, the embargo is lifted. That yoke is broken. The agenda of hell is cancelled. So shall it be. That there is nobody that can be a real minister of God without the heart of God, without a Christ-like nature. It's not possible. Because, because there are situations that will make you give up on people and give up on everything. You know, I mean, someone talking to you like that, and you still say, come, let us pray. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I prophesy today, a new season is upon you. The yoke is broken. Let's give the Lord a celebration, even if it's one minute or two minutes of celebration. Let's dance and celebrate. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. And now you are giving CD free of charge. How much do we pay for this one? No, this is not, we don't pay. It's a, this one is different. Because only them know how much they have charged them in other places. Their home is a home sale now. Congratulations. Father, thank you for these babies. The Lord, cause your face to shine upon them. And thank you, Father, for greater miracles. Power of the Holy Ghost in their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't worry, mommy is okay. Mommy is okay. Nothing happened to mommy. Mommy is alright. Say, mommy, no. <laughs> see mommy, see mommy, see mommy. The mommy is in shape, it's intact. <laughs> Celebration, can we go?